Hello, I'm Shanta from diabetes.co.uk. This morning I'm going to be making aloo methi, or potatoes with fenugreek. For this fenugreek with potato dish, we need finely chopped onions, garlic, chilli. We also need some fenugreek and tomatoes and a potato. In terms of the dry spices, we need some turmeric, garam masala and whole cumin seeds. Fenugreek is widely available in Indian shops. If you can't find an Indian shop near you or you can't find the fenugreek, then by all means replace the fenugreek with spinach. The way to prepare it is we first cut the stalks off at the bottom. The further stalks we remove the leaves from and we just chuck the stalk away. We're going to put everything into a chopper and it's going to be finely chopped and the stalks don't add particularly to the flavour and they can also of course jar in the mouth hence we get rid of them. You need to parboil your potatoes this means that we add our potatoes to boiling water and cook for about three minutes just check that they're slightly soft we don't want them mushy. It's ideal to use a wok for this recipe first we're going to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil it's best to use the bottles of oil that say vegetable oil. A lot of people may be tempted to use sunflower oil. Sunflower oil has too strong a taste for Indian cooking. To the wok I'm going to add the chopped onions and we're going to cook them until they're golden brown. Make sure you stir frequently because we don't want to burn them. Now that the onions are golden brown we're going to add the garlic and the whole cumin seeds. Now that the cumin seeds have gone a lovely golden brown colour, we're going to add our tomatoes, chilli, garam masala and turmeric. We're going to mix all the ingredients together and wait for it to cook through for about three minutes. Now that the tomato mixture is ready, we're going to add our final ingredients, our fenugreek and potatoes. Once you've added your fenugreek and potatoes, you're going to cook the mixture for around two minutes and then it should be ready. For those of you who are on a very low carb diet, you can substitute the potatoes with celeriac. If the mixture starts to stick, you can add a little bit of water to prevent it getting burnt. And we also add some salt to taste at this stage. Now the dish is ready to serve. 